shirts up, we say get from How to dance shows us how to next deck to guy guides Gary to the Gold Coast and stand workers in some random lounge. But first, we have to listen to these guys. It's good to be here. We're back again and we've got yeah. special guests. Yes, very special guests. Please give it up for Laura Daniel, the band Feet Stan Walker. Oh. 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 Yes. Hey, hey, I'm so I just want to make things one thing very clear. Um, Stan Walker's just here to sing back up, so <laughs> yeah, let me I mean I don't do oohs and ahs, but today I will. Oh, oh there you go. Dead <laughs> Bloody love Stan Walker. You, you don't get any more Kiwi than Stan Walker. A, a, a literal Kiwi could make love to a Pavlova and their son would be Stan Walker. Okay. <laughs> okay I've got a weird mental image going on now, but anyway. Guy Williams is here as well tonight, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Stan Walker, but I have put my wanger on a pavlova before. <laughs> okay. That's why we like having Guy here. Him saying stuff like that makes people uh, hate us less. That's right. Uh, now, this week, uh, there was a thief in Christchurch, and it, it didn't go well for him. No, it didn't. Look, look, if we weren't John Owen Bed, I would say that looks like a prank from John Owen Bed. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good one. And I'd, you know, I'd pay good money to be in the getaway car, eh? Be like, how'd it go, mate? Yeah, good, good. Tells me to go in, wave the gun around, knock some shit over and come out with... What? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you get the Murphy's thick cut chips? <laughs> yeah, no, I got, got the chips. Okay, yeah, good, 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 good. And did, and did you get the till? <laughs> yeah, the till. Okay. The why, till. Why are you guys sexlessly assuming that it was a man? Because I reckon coming off the worst weed deal in history, it was Chappelle Corby getting to arm robbery. <laughs> <laughs> and with more from the week, here is James Rock in the Wicked Five. <laughs> Kia ora everybody, James here. I hope you brought your oven mitts, baby, because I'm coming in hot. Here's the Wicked Five. <laughs> Number five. Donald Trump met with a bunch of world leaders and managed to act like a spoiled 12-year-old by doing this. You'd never see Bill English doing that. Because he never gets invited to those things. Number four. Justin Bieber got drunk in a club, forgot the Spanish lyrics to his own song, Despacito, and then replaced him with racist gibberish. Despacito. I don't know the words, so I say chorizo. You have to learn Spanish. Everything sounds better in it. Watch this. A veces, me gusta pentame e verde. E el le pae e pesun que se yu. Peaso gigante de alga marina. See, that was the hottest shit I've ever said in my life. Number three. This UFC fighter proposed to his girlfriend just moments after knocking another fighter out. I love you with all my heart. Do you want to marry me? Looks like that guy just won the ultimate fiancé championships. <laughs> Number two. Comedian Kamel Nanjani gave a speech to a graduating class and then gave them the best piece of advice ever. So here's another concrete piece of advice I can give you. Have sex with an immigrant. We're going through a tough time right now. Hey, I'm an immigrant. What a coincidence. I didn't even think of that before putting the story in. I just, what, a, what a funny thing. Oh, don't worry about Don't worry about <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> I mean, you can do whatever you want with that information if you want. I mean, you know, my DMs are open. <laughs> Special mentions go to this referee from the future. This angry pedestrian who got instant karma. <laughs> and this Hungarian football player who did the biggest flop of all time. To come back, so we'll <laughs> Ooh, uh, Man, give that guy an Oscar. Because he nailed that role. And now, the number one story of the week. Tiger Woods was arrested this week for a suspected DUI. It gets worse. Not only did he drink and drive, he drink and chipped and drink and putted. <laughs> and that was The Week in Five. I'll be James Brock. And remember, follow your dreams and have sex with an immigrant. James Brock, ladies and gentlemen. James. James Brock. Now, uh, I actually, actually noticed uh, one clip that wasn't in the week in five. Stan Walker, your new video premiered on telly this week, and Mike Hosking called it controversial. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, I'm just being mouldy. 
<laughs> like he's used to seeing, you know, other kind of Māori, but, you know, I'm just being native. <laughs> more Audis and yachts in there, maybe it would be better. <laughs> I, I mean, I get it. Like, I'm half Raro, so half of me is constantly oppressed. And the half, other half of me gets whatever they want. <laughs> uh, now, also on TV this week was Shortland Street's uh, 25th anniversary. And if you didn't yeah. see it, Mount Ferndale it, it erupted. Yeah. Mm. 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 Very exciting. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're just letting that sink in. Yeah. We're just yeah. letting that sink in. I'm, because... I'm still struggling to get yeah. over it anyway. Oh, um, but yeah. No one's forgotten their words. We're just letting it sink in. <laughs> 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 hey, you, don't, you don't have to point out those moments. No, no. Just no, letting it sink in. <laughs> anyway, uh, the 25th anniversary episode of Shaun Street. <laughs> Very special. Very special because a couple of us, a couple of us played a very pivotal role. But you role. say it, you say it. Pivotal role in the storyline. Take a look. Uh, hello, ambulance. Uh, Lucy from Shortland Street. She's in a car and she's about to give birth. Just hang up on them, hang up on them. I can do this, I can do this. Push, Lucy, push. Shauna, I told you it was a bad idea to share an Uber with a stranger during a volcanic eruption. It's fine. I've fathered hundreds of babies. Push! One more, Lucy. Ow. One more. Here we go. Ow. What do you mean, what is it? Well, it's a... it's a baby, mate. What did you think it was going to come out? Is she okay? She's beautiful. Hi. Hello. Hi, beautiful girl. Oh. John, I can't believe you just did that. Not bad for no medical training, eh? medical training. Yeah, I went in quite confident. Oh well, one out of two's not bad. Wow. Wow, that was that was dark. <laughs> All right, mate, don't be negative towards male midwives. Oh, we're out there giving it a crack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway. Need more of them, <laughs> like the kindergarten teacher. Anyway, uh, John, I got, John, I got a wee taste of Shortland Street, but we wanted more this week, yeah. so we uh, hit the streets for a wee bit more Shortland Street style drama. Shortland Street recently celebrated 25 years being on television, and we found out that they film an entire episode in a day, which is bloody quick. So today we thought we'd see how fast we could film some shorty style scenes with our old mate and ex Shortland Street star, Kimberly Cross. Hey. Only difference being, we're going to be filming inside furniture stores, and they don't know we're coming. Wait, what? Yeah, this is Shorter Street. And action! All right, guys, want a good scene? It's going to obnoxiously park here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. That's it. Morning. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Quiet on set. Shorter Street, uh, scene one, take one. And action! Felicity, I'm home. I thought you were dead. I went to your funeral. Yeah, I got better. Well, I'm glad that you got better because. I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah? I'm also pregnant. Music! And cut! We're gonna stop just probably <laughs> stopping <laughs> just would be nice. Scene two, take one. Action! Oh, I need a towel! Can we get her a towel? Just a, a towel! towel! Anything! A blanket! Oh, yes, we have a Just a pillow, just something! <laughs> Who the hell is this? We're boning. Here we go. Hi guys, how are you? Hi guys, how's it going? Oh no, Do you want no. Give us a hand? No. Just trying to film like a um, like Shorten Street. Okay. Very easily, very easily persuaded <laughs> from the lady who just said get Pretty out of here. And action. Please tell me that is not your penis. <laughs> And action! So, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Who the hell's this guy? It's... What's your name? Kale. It's Kale. And? We're together now. 
music. I felt so bad bursting into those yeah. furniture stores. We ended up buying a, a bed and two leather lounge suites just to That's say right. sorry. Yeah, big, big save Lily at one stage has us trapped under a couple of mattresses. Yeah. We she's, couldn't get out until we bought something. And she's weirdly calm about everything now, Big Save Lily. I don't know if you've seen the ads. It's quite odd. It's quite unnerving. <laughs> quite unnerving. Uh, now, tonight we have got yeah. something special planned uh, with the one and only Stan Walker. He's going to be performing his new single live. Yeah, damn. Uh, stop, no, no. Stop your applause. Because he's not going to be performing for you. OK? It's too cushy in this studio. What we want is Stan Walker to come to your house right now. Yeah. Not your no, house, not, not your house. house. Someone, not someone watching on the telly. Stan Walker could be in your living room before the end of the show performing his brand new yeah. single. If you want him live in your living room, just uh, head to our Facebook page right now. Um, do I get, like, any kind of say? <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, we already organised this, but it's probably for the best because you were sounding a bit like pitchy before the show started. He's very <laughs> pitchy. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Here's your ride. Come on, I'll take you. <laughs> Bye. All right, we'll see you soon. This is legit. If you want Stan yeah. Walker in your lounge, head to our Facebook page, but do it quickly because we're going to select someone in the next five minutes. I think it might be the last we see you, Stan. <laughs> do that, we'll see you after the break. See you soon. Bye. Bye. I mean, you could you can Google the lyrics, like, and just give, give Spanish a go. You know, don't be racist. Thank you, Laura Daniel. Welcome back hey. to Jono and Ben. We've actually just sent Stan Walker to somebody's house. He could be showing up at yours before the end of the show to perform. Yeah. That'd be scary if you're not expecting him, eh? You're just sitting there just watching TV One and all of a sudden Stan Walker shows up. <laughs> well, he's going to a house that's registered, mate. He's not just showing up to a random house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's like the Nappy Sand commercial guy. Out to the music. Hey, uh, one person who doesn't want to be going home anytime soon is former cricketer Scott Styrus, who forgot his wedding anniversary. But even worse, he was... Happy wedding anniversary to my wonderful husband. Oh, and thank you for remembering our special day. Oh, that's right. You didn't. Wow. <laughs> you could have told me that was coming. I didn't know that was coming. Well, you wake up in the morning, it's your wedding anniversary, you think flowers, breakfast in bed, you know, things like that, and nothing. I don't want to get in the middle of a domestic nothing. dispute. I'm just going <laughs> 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 to... He's gone. <laughs> oh, gee, poor Scott Stone. Now, we never want to make that mistake as two men who are married. Uh, so what we want to do now is a very special tribute and a very special thank you to both of our beautiful wives. Hit it, band. Yeah, Here we go. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy <laughs> anniversary <laughs> to you. Happy white tummy and new year. Happy all the options in there. Happy birthday to you. There we go. Doubt it. All right. Hold up. We use... both love you, darling. Oh, no, there's two wives. Uh, no, there's just one wife. We're in a polygamous relationship. <laughs> it's not, we love it's you, not darling. Of our, mate. Society judges us. <laughs> there's one, and I'll tell you what, our wife is not happy with us. We've got to say happy white tongue day. Uh, love you, anyway, darling. Anyway, because we love our wives, uh, we, we didn't what? take them to Sydney this week. Uh, when, because, you know, they wouldn't want to travel. It's a bit of a hassle. They, didn't want, they didn't want to meet Zac Efron anyway. So oh. we went along, because we love them, to meet Zac Efron to talk Baywatch. Regular John and Bed viewers will know that we're big fans of Baywatch. People stand in the darkness. So we were pretty excited to catch up with the stars of the new Baywatch movie, Zac Efron and Alexandra Daddario. Can you just uh, look at my boobs? I. You should look at my face. I'm trying, but it's so close to your boobs. Ha. <laughs> Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Yeah, we love Baywatch in New Zealand. Good. Yeah. Mainly because we're like 20 years behind, so the original series has just come out. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. You're getting the movie and the TV show at the same at time. At the same just time. That's fantastic news. Yeah. Yeah. In the movie, um, The Rock and yourself talk about your balls talking. Some bitchy shit is happening on our beach. My balls say we need to check it out. My balls say... It's just take it easy right here. Why do your balls sound like three-year-old girls? I don't know, man. That's just how they talk. But they're wise. <laughs> that, what are they saying about us? Uh, 
Nice suits, guys. <laughs> Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> Thanks, x <X-Bulls. laughs> I heard you describe it as more than just bouncing boobs. It is more than just bouncing boobs. It's Everything bouncing bounces. penises. <laughs> There's a little for the men and the women. Do you think, though, you would save more people if you stopped running in slow motion? Why does she always look like she's running in slow motion? You see a tip? It, no, it's fine because it, yeah. um, they're drowning in slow motion as well. Oh, so everything's okay. running Everything in slow motion. goes into slow motion when we decide to run in slow-mo. Yeah. Do you hope the movie goes well enough to afford a, a shirt in the sequel? Or? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I hope not. Well. But how many abs? I mean, most people talk about six abs, but you must have like 16. They're not actually your abs. They're like a different side muscle. It's yeah, different they're muscles group. that no one knew that existed. That no one knows again. Yeah. That's why I just go for one ab, bro. <laughs> It's <laughs> yeah, not fun. Like that was to achieve a look. I don't I recommend that yeah. thing anyone should, should look like that. You, you're hating life. Too. Yeah, I'm yeah. Bit, like depressed right there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah right. exactly. Alexandra, um, your friends got arrested the other day yes. stealing something. Yeah, I don't know arrested. I'm trying to dramatize. I want to get some clickbait. Okay, they could have gotten arrested. <laughs> they stole my cardboard cutout from a movie theater, and the security team chased them out of the movie theater. <laughs> but they were determined. So they had a man, a friend, waiting in a getaway car. Wow. Someone had three of mine at the premiere yesterday. Yeah, oh, people were cool stealing them. Yeah, they were no, like, no, no problem. take a picture with us. And I was like, where'd you, where'd you get those? <laughs> Zach, in the movie, The Rock calls you, you know, lots of musical names. You know, he calls you Bieber, he calls you Jonas Brothers. Hey, One Direction, you here for the qualifiers? I'm Matt Brody. We still don't, don't give, give up. up. If you had to pick an artist for the one of us or the two of us, who would you go for? Do I look like a sicker-looking version of Pitbull? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Pitbull, but you want to donate some money to him? Yeah, Pitbull has the most fun. <laughs> he's really loving life. He's, he's just such a G. You're yeah. a better looking version of Pitbull. Oh, you're, oh, mu- you're, mu- you're much better, yeah. yeah. Hey, lovely to meet you guys. <laughs> lovely to meet you too. <laughs> you know, and you can catch uh, Baywatch in cinemas from today. To be honest, Zach was actually pretty perky in that interview, considering that he'd gone three full minutes without having a protein shake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I was glad we could take our phones in, because mine had Google Maps, and I kept getting lost in his eyes. Oh. Hey! That is high quality! Oh, hold on, hold high on. High quality! Oh, I thought it was. Yep. Oh, no, yep. don't do that again. No, it's don't. the joke of the night! <laughs> It was. Well, we are in the dying stages of our uh, Cool Town Bro competition. Hello, Laura. There. Hello. The seat was still literally spinning. <laughs> uh, in the throes of uh, at the end of our Cool Town Bro competition, and Laura, this week we uh, sent you to uh, write a song uh, about your favourite part of New Zealand. No, I didn't write a song, Jono. What'd you, what, what do you mean? What'd you do? I wrote an anthem. It's <laughs> cool. Going to town. Bro, in New Zealand, we spend too much time talking about the big cities. So today, I want to send some love to a smaller town, a cool town, this town. I've been to a thousand different places, but only one I truly like. Postcode 3620, just up from the Bay of Plenty. It's a safe place to ride a bike. Better than any other, no offense to why he power no we fit on a tie or a pie or a bow down to Fonga Mata. It's a top town, ain't talking about Kibriana. Oh, oh, little shops, you can buy gifts and half. If you got two million dollars, you can buy this old bash. Very friendly locals always up for a chat. <laughs> I told you to pretend to know me. <laughs> I-, I came to visit you years and I threw up. 
Wanna rap or some shots up in the club? Got a refuge transfer station that's a rubber stump. Every other town in New Zealand, you suck. Just goes to show that Small Town New Zealand, you can get on TV as long as your name rhymes with that of a popular song. Yeah, so if uh, anyone could write a song called Narmiston Porth, then that would really help, <laughs> really help Laura out. That, that would be great, John. I, yeah. I haven't seen my mum in months and I would love a free trip home. So. Well, well, you could be in luck, Laura, because uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard for Cool Town Bro. Which town we're going to go to in two weeks' time? Oh, Palmy's oh, 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 my goodness. Kendall and Zanya uh, in the oven, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Go to cooltownbro.com, vote for your town, and next Thursday we'll announce where we'll be going the following week. Come on, Nelson, pick it up, mate. I expect a hero's welcome. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we'll see you guys after the break. See you soon. Coming up, we've got How To Dad live in Hunting and Fishing, and we've got Stan Walker live in someone's living room. Oh, living room, sorry, I said it wrong. Oh, thank you, Laura. Welcome back to Joe and Ben on a week. The Chappelle Corby headed back for Austra from Australia to from Bali uh, for tw first time in 12 years. Yeah, and uh, controversially, she returned with the same piece of luggage she left with. Got <laughs> <laughs> through this, time, so through well this one out of two, Ben. Chappelle, well done. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, I got some hot takes on this. Do okay. you guys wanna hear some hot takes? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hot takes. I'm just gonna do it regardless. It's guy time, <laughs> let's, let's go! go. Let's go, guys! <laughs> it's guy time! Woo! Now, if there's two things that I know Australians love, it's those hats with the corks hanging off and trying to sneak drugs into Bali. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out this mugshot of Chappelle Corby. <laughs> That's an actual photo of when she went to prison. She got released back this week, and the media lost their minds. Convicted drug smuggler Chappelle Corby. Chappelle Corby. Chappelle Corby. The marijuana queen. Currently up at the gate. They keep swapping lanes. We have seen the lights flicking on and off. Seems Chappelle is far better at hiding herself than she was at hiding uh, 4.2 kilograms of cannabis, <laughs> cannabis in her blue board bag. So the, the, the police look like that. <laughs> That was a journalist trying to cover, cl climb the fence, by the way. So she was trying to smuggle um, weed into Bali through a boogie board bag. And here's my big question. How much boogie boarding was she planning on doing <laughs> that she needed to purchase a boogie board, the lamest sport pretty much in the world? <laughs> like, I reckon her mates were mocking her so much about the boogie boarding, she just put the weed into the bag just to seem less lame. <laughs> it breaks my first rule. If you're not prepared to smuggle drugs up your ass, then be prepared to go to jail. <laughs> the good news is that she's now home and she's managed to avoid the media controversy with a fake convoy. There's the convoy. Pell's being chased by helicopter yep. in that car. OK, well, I'm, while my watch is live on telly at the moment... There we uh, are. <gasps> That's right, police and media. You can't catch Chappelle t Corby twice. <laughs> if she wanted some advice on how to lay low, she should have talked to a Kiwi who just changed his name recently, Bavid Dane. Oh. Chappelle, here's my advice. Your problem is your family. You need to get them out of the picture. Oh. OK, that was too far. Even, even by my standards, that was too far, and I, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> the real story here is that she got 180,000 followers on Instagram, and I don't want to say I'm inspired, but that's big numbers, so I'm off to Bali to do a bit of bo boogie boarding. Uh, that's all for Guy Time this week. I'll see you in 12 years! Yay! Good work, buddy boy. Good work. Great work. Yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of people say that I remind them of Chappelle Corby because of all my drug crimes. <laughs> And also, you spent 12 years in Palmy, which might be worse than 12 years in Palmy. <laughs> wow, yeah. Oh, oh. 
Hey, we could be going to Palmy. <laughs> oh, similar to a Balinese prison, mate. Mate, if we go to Palmy, I'm going to play it to them on the night and they're going to boo you out of there, right? Uh, now, this week we caught up with uh, New Zealand's biggest internet sensation. Jamie Curry. One of the top... <laughs> <laughs> Today we're hunting and fishing, where our next actor is somewhere around here. He's internet sensation, How to Dad. Yes, you'll know him from his... Uh, yeah, g'day and welcome to this instructional video on how to do a next no, actor. We've, we've, yeah, we're doing the intro, it's all good, mate. Well, I could do the... No, no, no we, we're, we're done. We've we're, covered we're, that. Yeah. Come on, mate. Oh, <laughs> you got to react. That was... Action! <laughs> Alright, How to Dad, see if you can sneak up behind your workmate and blow the duck caller. So you can give it a quack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have riders? <laughs> Not good ones. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> making friends with the new workmates. <laughs> okay, you're famous for uh, viral videos. See if you can create a viral video on how to shoplift in front of a customer. <laughs> uh, yeah, g'day and welcome to this instructional video on how to get someone to help you steal stuff. <laughs> he's running. He's running. He's oh, bro, we gotta go. You take these. You take that. Nice go, go, go. I got the ducks. Go to the door. To the door. To the door. No, the door. You're going the wrong way. To the door. Go, 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 go. I don't know if he was running away from that or the fact that he knows what show he's on right now. <laughs> what are you looking for today? Are you looking for me? Oh, yeah, yeah. By chance, been looking for me? Yeah. <laughs> Ask if she wants to check out the guns. Did you want to check out the guns? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Just see how long you can hug this guy for in hunting and fishing. Give him a big hug and don't let go. Yeah, man, we got we got Drake whistles. Oh, over here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you, mate. I got you. <laughs> yeah, you are, keep you holding. Are. Keep yeah. holding. Oh, your phone. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep holding. Just keep going. Don't, 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 you don't ruin this moment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this uh, is a new thing with the <laughs> It's called hugging and fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, let's even get a customer to try on the brand new waterproof jacket. AKA a raincoat. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's <laughs> not really brand new technology. <laughs> <laughs> try it for fit, because we've got 90% off today. Now demonstrate with the bucket. So what I can show you here is we've just got a bucket of water, and I'll show you this. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see the water. It's even a blackout jacket, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> How to do it. How to end a segment. No, oh, let's go back. <laughs> Exit's actually oh, the other way. Yeah, yeah. And cut. That's a wrap. Woo! And you can catch How to Dad's brand new web series right now on YouTube. For a guy who's built his career on how to be a dad, he's suspiciously without his kids quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they were there. They were in hunting and fishing. They're the ones playing with the crossbows. Ah, that's right. <laughs> I'll walk through the door. <laughs> yeah. I'll take advice on how to raise kids from him when I see how his kids turn out first. Like, I'd hate to take him some advice and then find out his kids are like dealing meth or wearing fedoras. <laughs> or like that they're boogie boarders. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we've just heard word that Ange uh, and Stan Walker have arrived at the house tonight. Stan Walker is going to be performing live in a living room. Oh. Come on in, Ange. <laughs> I'm here with Stan Walker, or as I like to call him, Stalker. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, OK, you're going to go inside? Uh, so, Stan, we're about to... Yeah, Stan, we're about to go inside this <laughs> random house in Green Lane. Yeah, yeah. I know you're performing to about three or four people in the living room. Um, oh, it sounds small, but it's the same number of people who watch John and Ben oh, on oh, TV. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh they've seen you. Hi. Oh, hey. Um, do you know this guy? Yeah, yes. it's my cousin. It's my cousin. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. It's your cousin. Come here, come here. Let's get this. Oh, we're going to go inside their lounge. Oh, they're uh, in. They're in. Yeah, well, of course they're in, mate. Right? They asked for them to come. Oh, oh there's great. People here. There's people here. Oh, God. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, right. Hello. Hello. Okay, we found the lounge. Um, um. We'll come back to you when you're set up. All right, Ange, we'll check in with you guys later on in the program. We'll see you guys after the break. See you soon. Oh,
Busker. Wow. Ben Busker, gee whiz. Uh, welcome back to John and Ben on a week uh, that people are starting to get sick, aren't they? Yes, yeah, the did you know it's the first official day of winter today, which means colds are on their way. <laughs> and that's why I'm jacked up on Len Sip and a morphine drip right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Precautionary measure. Uh, yeah, well, but um, the big thing is man flu. It can affect any man, any time. So take care out, New out there, New Zealand. Care, yeah, car. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Quick, there's a man! What is it, Ness? He has the flu. My God. Not the man flu. That's right. What's the status? Jono, male in his 30s, a girlfriend called 111 this morning when he woke up complaining of a sore throat and wouldn't stop talking about it. How long has he been sick? Only since this morning, but he's been acting like it's been an entire week. He could barely get off the couch when we arrived. Jono, I'm Dr. Boyce. How are you feeling? Terrible. I've got a runny nose. <sighs> Temperature? Billy elevated, but he keeps asking for a cold flannel. I'm sweating. I've got a fever. I want a hot chalky your bath and a fluffy pillow. OK, team. This is Jono. Male, suspected man flu. I don't understand. I had a cold last week and I still went to work. What is wrong with her? Someone needs to calm her down. <laughs> Chest is clear. I've got a cough. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. But you have man flu. Oh, God. But I thought he just had a cold. He does just have a cold, that's great. I've got so much life to live. We are doing everything we can, OK? <laughs> you got to get my will. I'm going to die. Not on our watch. Obviously not. He's barely even ill. Watch it, Dr Crossman. You do not want to cross the line. Someone pull the life support. End it. He's not even on life support. You just have a harmless cold. Physically, you're barely even sick. Behaviorally, you're a bit of a nightmare. He wanted a cold flannel. Wow. Mummy! as soon as I heard. I'm gonna die. I'll make sure that you get everything that you need. Blinky is right here. <laughs> Hi, so, so sorry to interrupt. I was just wondering, would someone mind looking at this? Oh, someone get her out of here. We are dealing with an emergency. I I've just been shot in the arm. <laughs> Sorry, I've been, I've been man shot in the arm. <gasps> oh my god. had a case of the man flu, but I, I didn't mind it so much because it meant I got paid 12% more, so... <laughs> oh, no, here we go! <laughs> the, anyway, the, the real tragedy was how many people died because we shut down that wing of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, they will not be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Although they did die in vain, for sure. <laughs> now, speaking of death, this is all to everyone, obviously, a very tragic... Uh, day and week. This is uh, the one year anniversary of the passing of celebrity gorilla Harambe. <laughs> yeah, we're all very... Don't woo, this is very sad and tragic. <laughs> so, out of respect to the gorilla, I say we all have a one minute um, of silence right here. One like, minute of silence, mate. It's a long time. This is, this is a spiritual gorilla, and this is very important to me, so I've actually put together a PowerPoint slideshow. No. Um, if everyone could just, uh, just, just stand, guys, and let's oh, just do you this. You want us now. to stand? Okay. A one minute of silence. Okay. Here we go. Rest in peace, Harambe. Shh, Jono! Gone but not forgotten. How long, we, how long are we doing this for? For a minute. Get your dicks out for Harambe. No, no! <laughs> shh, shh! You can never just be quiet. <laughs> what? what is that? That's no, 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 no. Cut this now. Wait, wait. You can't cut can I switch this off? We may have been switching this into your phone. Stop it playing. Stop it playing. No more. No more. No more footage playing. He's been out. He's been out. He's been out. Cut the trip. 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 That was disrespectful to Harambe. Oh, yeah, well, anyway, uh, the 
best. I'm going to stick out for the <laughs> The Bachelor may have finished, uh, but that means. Did my uh, D look good? The winners of The Bachelor, Zach and Biani, they're now contractually obliged to be on our show. Yep, that's right. And we took them for their first post Bachelor date. Check it out. We'll see you after the break. Okay, we're here today with Zach and Biani from The Bachelor. Now, guys, I know since The Bachelor finished, you want to have dates now without cameras. Yeah, dinner. Ideally, yeah. So what we did is we brought cameras along. <laughs> yeah. oh. And we brought you to Spookers. So we're going to try and conduct some dates at Spookers while we are going through, all right? <laughs> Date at Spookers. Date on. I really feel like the third wheel on this, on this date, Ben. Yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah. Or maybe we can hook up with the dude behind us. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> she real? I don't know. I don't no, know she's all good. She's not real. Bachelorettes are really letting themselves go. <laughs> Definitely feel it. Alright, it's all good. They edit around the bits that make us look like pussies. It's all <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we've got some dinner for you. And you could not ask for a more romantic <laughs> location. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Sorry, I think I was cracking on you. Mrs. there, Zach. I was... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can Someone's here, I can tell. <laughs> oh, God! Give her a rose, Give her a rose. <laughs> so Sarah's 24 years old. <laughs> She's a nurse from the Hawks Bay. <laughs> okay, classic date activity. Mini part. It's quite a good shot. But yeah, we lost you. Oh my god, let's talk about our feelings. Let's talk about feelings? Yeah, I feel like this experience has really brought us together, Zach. I like how I've got to learn how you deal in different situations, Viani. It's good. Oh, we're going to do a rose ceremony. <laughs> Great, lovely. It's the bald ghost from television! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Thank, really you. Thank you for worrying you about me, so, though. We're so worried. Thank you for coming back and getting me. <laughs> Across the back live to Stan Walker, who's showing up at a viewer's house. Her name is Michelle. She's going to have him play live. Yeah, well, let's hope it goes better than the time we broke into a house with Dave Dobbin and got him to sing Welcome Home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He didn't quite, they never got over that, Dobbin, did he? Cost hey. us a lot in bail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Stan Walker isn't the only star on the show. Um, my dad, Gary, has become on Twitter mildly popular. Um, a, lot of, Mildly. a lot of people saying that he's more talented than me, he is. which is a very low bar, to say the least. <laughs> so I've gotten involved in my new job as becoming a travel vlogger. Let's check it out. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's Guy Williams here. I'm a TV personality, radio host, some of you might know me from a food vlog, and today I'm a travel blogger. And I'm Gary, I'm unemployed. You're retired. We're going on a father son adventure to the Gold Coast. And we're going to get amongst it. Just a three hour flight from Auckland. Or 25 hours by boat. No one's travelling by boat, Gary. Oh. The Gold Coast is known for its gold. Coast. And I want to meet a talking koala. What? We're gonna get amongst it. Please stop saying that. First up, surfing! Why are we doing surfing? Surfing's always been my favourite thing. I thought your favourite thing was going to the track and gambling on the horses. So it was off to meet Australian surf legend and Kelly Slater's coach, Shane Horan, to get some words of wisdom. We're here, it's like 25 degree weather, and you're wearing a hoodie. 
It says, have a good surf. It's a little bit warm, but... They've got a yellow shirt that also says, have a good surf. Yeah, and then I take it off, and then i got a tattoo that says, have a good surf. <laughs> Shane had the best attitude of any surf coach I'd ever met. Going surfing with friends seems like the fun never ends. What he didn't have was any actual advice on surfing. That's not how you do it. No, no, no. That was no, a bad no, one. No, no. Fortunately, I had a sweet surfing montage. Yeah. Unfortunately, Gary's montage wasn't so hot. Uh... Here he goes, here he goes, go. <laughs> here we fly, here we fly. He fine. hasn't come up yet. Here we fly. He hasn't come up. Here we fly. He's still in the water. It's his time to go. Thankfully, Gary lived to authorise his credit card for this very expensive sports car. You know the words. Bring along. <laughs> Turns out Gaza didn't know the words. <laughs> I knew that bit, and I knew where we were going, to the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. Nice segue, Gary. Thanks. It came free with the tour. Get amongst it. Get amongst it. If you've been in here long enough, you actually quite a develop a taste for grass. Quite good. You can taste the kangaroo shit. That's the main thing to do. The park had it all. It had ducks. This is a friendly duck. Gee. Hello, Mr Duck. Quack, quack. It had it all. Don't forget talking koalas. It didn't have talking koalas, Gary. Wow, Brooke, a talking koala. Just a normal koala, doesn't talk. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Amazing, a talking koala. I've dreamed about this for all my life. But we didn't have time for mental breakdowns because it was off to dinner. So we're here at the glorious Miami Marquis. So this is a great place. We don't need to do a selfie right now, Gary. Why are we doing this? I'm sending it to my friends. We've got about 12 cameras filming it. No one's going to watch that. It's... The Miami Marquetta has some of the best food in town and also some of the best live entertainment. And if you fancy yourself a bit of a muso, you can even join in for a jam. was me attempting to shake hands with a man playing guitar. <laughs> now for your viewing pleasure, here's Gary playing bagpipes on an upturned stool. It's Saturday on the Gold Coast. That's a wrap. And we're going to check out all the great footage from Gary's GoPro video. Enjoy. Amazing. Dad, did you switch that GoPro on? Whoops. Nearly forgot. Cool. <laughs> let's go get started. OK, let's get amongst it. Catch more of Guy and Gaz's Gold Coast adventure next week. Oh, look at this. I love Gary. I, I don't know if you guys are paying attention to that, but this week uh, Guy got sent to the Gold Coast and I got sent to Whangamata. <laughs> Hashtag equality. <laughs> don't forget that you got paid 12.5% less as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, hashtag equality. <laughs> I'm not the one paying you. <laughs> all right, all right. On that weird note, uh, I think we're going to cross back live to Stan Walker, who's playing live. At, can I say live any more times? At Michelle's Lounge. Uh, thank you so much for watching our show. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and we'll see you next week. It's Stan Walker now. <laughs> Ready to rock. I mean, the edge. Stan Walker. <laughs>
my balls say. It's just take it easy right here. Why do your balls sound like three-year-old girls? I don't know, man. That's just how they talk. But they're wise. That one they sang about us. Uh, nice suits, guys. <laughs> Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> Thanks, Sex Bulls. <laughs> now, I heard you describe it as more than just bouncing boobs. It is more than just bouncing boobs. It's Everything bouncing bounces. penises. <laughs> so there's a little something for the men and the women. Do you think, though, you would save more people if you stopped running in slow motion? Why does she always look like she's running in slow motion? You see a tip? It, no, it's fine because it, yeah. um, they're drowning in slow motion as well. Oh, so everything's okay. running Everything in slow goes into slow motion when we decide to run in slow mo. Yeah. Do you hope the movie goes well enough to afford a, a shirt in the sequel? Or? <laughs> yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. I hope not. not. But how many abs? I mean, most people talk about six abs, but you must have like 16. They're not actually your abs, they're like a different side muscle. It's yeah, they're muscles group. that no one knows. That no one knows again. Yeah. That's why I just go for one ab, bro. <laughs> It's yeah, not fun. Like that was to achieve a look. I don't I recommend that yeah. thing anyone should, should look like that. You, you're hating life. Too. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Bit, like depressed right there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Alexandra, um, your friend's got arrested the other day, yes. stealing something. Yeah, I don't know arrested. I try to dramatize it. We'll get some clickbait. Okay, they could have gotten arrested. <laughs> they stole my cardboard cutout from a movie theater, and the security team chased them out of the movie theater. <laughs> but they were determined, so. They had a man, a friend, waiting in a getaway car. Wow. Someone had three of mine at the premiere yesterday. Yeah, oh, people were cool stealing them. Yeah, they were no, like, no problem. take a picture with us. And I was like, where'd you, where'd you get those? <laughs> Zach, in the movie, The Rock calls you, you know, lots of musical names. You know, he calls you Bieber, he calls you Jonas Brothers. Hey, One Direction, you here for the qualifiers? I'm Matt Brody. We still don't, don't give, give up. up. If you had to pick an artist for the one of us or the two of us, who would you go for? Do I look like a sicker looking version of Pitbull? <laughs> <laughs> Pitbull, but you want to donate some money to him? Yeah, Pitbull has the most fun. <laughs> he's, he's loving life. He's, he's, he's just such a G. You're a better looking version of Pitbull. Oh, you're, oh, you're, you're much better, yeah. yeah. Hey, lovely to meet you guys. <laughs> lovely to meet you too. <laughs> you know, and you can catch uh, Baywatch in cinemas from today. To be honest, Zach was actually pretty perky in that interview, considering that he'd gone three full minutes without having a protein shake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I was glad we could take our phones in, because mine had Google Maps, and I kept getting lost in his eyes. Oh. Hey! That is high quality! Hold on, hold high on. High quality! Well, I thought it was. Yep. Oh, no, yep. don't do that again. No, it's don't. the joke of the day! <laughs> Good to be here. We're back again, and we've got yeah. special guests. Yes, very special guests. Please give it up for Laura Daniel, the band Feet Stand Walker. Oh. Oh. There he is. Yes. Hey, hey, I just, just want to make things, one thing very clear. Um, Stan Walker's just here to sing back up, so, <laughs> yeah, let me... I mean, I don't do oohs and ahs, but today I will. Oh, oh there you go. Dad, Jean, <laughs> bloody love Stan Walker. You, you don't get any more Kiwi than Stan Walker. A, a, a literal Kiwi could make love to a Pavlova and their son would be Stan Walker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a weird mental image going on now, but anyway. Guy Williams is here as well tonight, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Stan Walker, but I have put my wanger on a Pavlova before. <laughs> okay. That's why we like having Guy here. Him saying stuff like that makes people uh, hate us less. That's right. Uh, now, this week, uh, there was a thief in Christchurch, and it, yeah. it didn't go well for him. No, it didn't. Look, look, if we weren't John Owen Bed, I would say that looks like a prank from John Owen Bed. Yeah. <laughs> Not a guy. <laughs> and I'd, you know, I'd pay good money to be in the getaway car, eh? Be like, how'd it go, mate? Yeah, good, good. That was me to go in, wave the gun around, knock some shit over and come out with... What? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you get the Murphy thick cut chips? <laughs> yeah, no, I got, got the chips. Okay, yeah, good, good, good. good. And, did, and did you get the till? Uh... <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell. Yeah. Tell. Why are you guys sexlessly assuming that it was a man? Because I reckon coming off the worst weed deal in history, it was Chappelle Corby getting to arm robbery. <laughs> <laughs> and with more from the week, here is James Stroke in the Wicked Fire. Hey, kia ora, everybody. James here. I hope you brought your oven mitts, baby, because I'm coming in hot. Here's the Wicked Fire. <laughs> Number five. Donald Trump met with a bunch of world leaders and managed to act like a spoiled 12-year-old by doing this. You'd never see Bill English doing that. Because he never gets invited to those things. Number four. Justin Bieber got drunk in a club, forgot the Spanish lyrics to his own song, Despacito, and then replaced him with racist gibberish. Despacito. I don't know the To learn Spanish, everything sounds better in it. Watch this. Oh, we're gonna do a rose ceremony. <laughs> Great, lovely. <laughs> it's the bald ghost from television. <laughs> that is a serious one. This might. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for worrying you about me, so, though. We're so worried. Thank you for coming back and getting me. <laughs> To cross the back live to Stan Walker, who's showing up at a viewer's house. Her name is Michelle. She's going to have him play live. Yeah, well, let's hope it goes better than the time we broke into a house with Dave Dobbin and got him to sing Welcome Home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he didn't quite, he never got over that, Dobbin, did he? Cost hey. us a lot in bail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Stan Walker isn't the only star on the show. Um, my dad, Gary, has become on Twitter mildly popular. Um, a, lot of, Mildly. a lot of people saying that he's more talented than me. He is. Which is a very low bar, to say the least. <laughs> so I've gotten involved in my new job as becoming a travel vlogger. Let's check it out. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's Guy Williams here. I'm a TV personality, radio host. Some of you might know me from a food vlog. And today, I'm a travel vlogger. And I'm Gary, I'm unemployed. You're retired. We're going on a father-son adventure to the Gold Coast. And we're going to get amongst it. Darling. Just a three-hour flight from Auckland. Or 25 hours by boat. No one's travelling by boat, Gary. Oh. The Gold Coast is known for its gold... Coast. And I want to meet a talking koala. What? We're going to get amongst it. Please stop saying that. First up, surfing. Why are we doing surfing? Surfing's always been my favourite thing. I thought your favourite thing was going to the track and gambling on the horses. So it was off to meet Australian surf legend and Kelly Slater's coach, Shane Horan, to get some words of wisdom. We're here, it's like 25 degree weather, and you're wearing a hoodie. It says, have a good surf. It's a little bit warm, but... They've got a yellow shirt that also says, have a good surf. Yeah, and then I take it off, and then I've got a tattoo that says, have a good surf. <laughs> Shane had the best attitude of any surf coach I'd ever met. Going surfing with friends seems like the fun never ends. What he didn't have was any actual advice on surfing. That's not how you do it. No, no, no. That was no, a bad no, one. No, no. Fortunately, I had a sweet surfing montage. Yeah. Unfortunately, Gary's montage. Your house, right now. <laughs> not your no, house, no, not your house. house. Someone, oh, yeah. someone watching on the telly. Stan Walker could be in your living room before the end of the show performing his brand new yeah. single. If you want him live in your living room, just uh, head to our Facebook page right now. Um, do I get like any kind of say? <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, we already organised this, but it's probably for the best because you were sounding a bit like pitchy before the show started. He's pitchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, okay. Here's your ride. Come on, I'll take you. <laughs> Bye. All right, let's see you. Uh, this is legit. If you want Stan Walker yeah. in your lounge, head to our Facebook page, but do it quickly because we're going to select someone in the next five minutes. I think that might be the last we see you, Stan. <laughs> do that, and we'll see you after the break. See you soon. Yeah, I can get 
You can Google the lyrics, like, and just give, give Spanish a go, you know. Don't be racist. Thank you, Laura Daniel. Welcome hey. back to Jono and Ben. We've actually just sent Stan Walker to somebody's house. He could be showing up at yours before the end of the show to perform. Yeah. That'd yeah. be scary if you're not expecting him, eh? You're just sitting there just watching TV1 and all of a sudden Stan Walker shows up. <laughs> well, he's going to a house that's registered, mate. He's not just showing up to a random house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's like the Nappy Sand commercial, guys. <laughs> hey, uh, one person who doesn't want to be going home anytime soon is former cricketer Scott Styrus, who forgot his wedding anniversary. But even worse, he was... Happy wedding anniversary to my wonderful husband. Oh, and thank you for remembering our special day. Oh, that's right. You didn't. Wow. You, you could have told me that was coming. I didn't know that was coming. Well, you wake up in the morning, it's your wedding anniversary, you think flowers, breakfast in bed, you know, things like that, and nothing. I don't want to get in the middle of a domestic nothing. dispute, so I'm just going <laughs> <laughs> to... He's right. gone. <laughs> oh, gee, poor Scott Stone. Now, we never want to make that mistake as two men who are married. Uh, so what we want to do now is a very special tribute, a very special thank you to both of our beautiful wives. Hit it, band. Yeah, Here we go. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy Ooh. anniversary to you. <laughs> Happy White Tommy and New Year. Yeah. Happy all the options in there. Happy birthday There we go. Now we go. Now we go. All right. Well, yeah. We both this. love you, darling. No, no, there's two no, wives. No, there's just one wife. We're in a polygamous relationship. <laughs> it's, it's we not, love it's you, not darling. Laura Vale, mate. Society <laughs> judges us. <laughs> one, and I tell you what, our wife was not happy with it. We're, We're going to cross back live to Stan Walker, who's playing live. At, can I say live any more times? At Michelle's Lounge. Uh, thank you so much for watching our show. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and we'll see you next week. It's Stan Walker now. <laughs>
environmental better than any other. No offense to why he power no we fit on a title a pie to a bow down to fung a mata. It's a top town, ain't talking about carry on your little shops. You can buy gifts and half. If you got two million dollars, you can buy this old bash. Very friendly locals always up for a chat. Oh, really? I told you to pretend to know me. Visit New Year's and I threw up. Wanna raffle, did some shots up in the club. Got a refuge transfer station, that's a rubbish dump. Every other town in New Zealand, you suck. Woo woo! And another round of bows. Got a third round of bows. Total up for a round of bows. Shimmy, shimmy, yay, shimmy, yay, shimmy, ah. Fong on my top. Fong on my top. Just goes to show that small town New Zealand, you can get on TV as long as your name rhymes with that of a popular song. Yeah, so if uh, anyone could write a song called Namaston Porth, then that would really help, <laughs> really help Laura out. That, that would be great, John. I, yeah. I haven't seen my mum in months and I would love a free trip home. So. Well, you could be in luck, Laura, because uh, let's have a look at the leaderboard for Cool Town Bro. Which town we're going to go to in two weeks' time? Oh, Palmy's oh, 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 my goodness. Get the lasagna uh, in the oven, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Go to cooltownbro.com, vote for your town, and next Thursday we'll announce where we'll be going the following week. Come on, Nelson, pick it up, mate. I expect a hero's welcome. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we'll see you guys after the break. See you soon. Coming up, we've got How To Dad live in Hunting and Fishing, and we've got Stan Walker live in someone's living room. Oh, living room. Sorry, I said it wrong. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh, thank you, Laura. Welcome back to Joe and Ben on a week that Chappelle Corby headed back for Austra from Australia to from Bali uh, for tw first time in 12 years. Yeah, and uh, controversially, she returned with this. Yeah, I went in quite confident. <laughs> oh, well, one out of two's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> That was dark. <laughs> All right, mate. Don't be negative towards male midwives. Right, we're out there giving it a crack. Right, we need <laughs> anyway, more of them. It's like the kindergarten teacher. Anyway, uh, John, got, John, we've got a wee taste of Short and Street, but we wanted more this week, yeah. so we uh, hit the streets for a wee bit more Short and Street style drama. Short and Street recently celebrated 25 years being on television and we found out that they film an entire episode in a day, which is bloody quick. So today we thought we'd see how fast we could film some shorty style scenes with our old mate and ex Short and Street star, Kimberly Cross. Hey! Only difference being, we're going to be filming inside furniture stores and they don't know we're coming. Wait, what? Yeah, this is Shorter Street. And action! Alright guys, want a good scene? It's going to knock the sleep park here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. That's it. Morning. All right, here we go. OK, here we go. Quiet on set. Shorter Street, uh, scene one, take one. And action! Felicity, I'm home. I thought you were dead. I went to your funeral. Yeah, I got better. Well, I'm glad that you got better because I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah? I'm also pregnant. Music! <laughs> We're going to stop just stopping <laughs> the chest would be nice. Scene two, take one. Action! Oh, I need a towel! Can we get her a towel? Just a, a towel. towel! Anything, a blanket! Oh, yes, we have a Just a pillow, just something. <laughs> it's just a pillow. She's keep pushing. There we go. She's going to be ready for the pillow. Thank you. Boning. 
Here we go. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, no, no. Do you want to no. give us a hand? No. Just trying to film like, a, um, like Shorten Street. OK. Hurry up. Very easily persuaded <laughs> from the lady who just said, get Ready out of here. And action. Please tell me that is not your penis. <laughs> And action! So, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Who the hell's this guy? It's... What's your name? Kale. It's Kale. It's... Hey! See what I did there? B.I.B., y'all! Stan Walker's playing live at the about to cross the back live to Stan Walker, who's showing up at a viewer's house. Her name is Michelle. She's going to have him play live. Yeah, well, let's hope it goes better than the time we broke into a house with Dave Dobbin and got him to sing Welcome Home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he didn't quite, he never got over that, Dobbin, did he? Cost hey. us a lot in bail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Stan Walker isn't the only star on the show. Um, my dad, Gary, has become on Twitter mildly popular. Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people saying that he's more talented than me. He is. Which is a very low bar, to say the least. <laughs> so I've gotten involved in my new job as becoming a travel vlogger. Let's check it out. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's Guy Williams here. I'm a TV personality, radio host. Some of you might know me from a food vlog. And today, I'm a travel blogger. And I'm Gary, I'm unemployed. You're retired. We're going on a father-son adventure to the Gold Coast. And we're going to get amongst it. Darling. Just a three-hour flight from Auckland. Or 25 hours by boat. No one's travelling by boat, Gary. Oh. The Gold Coast is known for its gold... Coast. And I want to meet a talking koala. What? We're going to get amongst it. Please stop saying that. First up, surfing. Why are we doing surfing? Surfing's always been my favourite thing. I thought your favourite thing was going to the track and gambling on the horses. So it was off to meet Australian surf legend and Kelly Slater's coach, Shane Horan, to get some words of wisdom. We're here, it's like 25 degree weather, and you're wearing a hoodie. It says, have a good surf. It's a little bit warm, but... They've got a yellow shirt that also says, have a good surf. Yeah, and then I take it off, and then I've got a tattoo that says, have a good surf. <laughs> Shane had the best attitude of any surf coach I'd ever met. Going surfing with friends seems like the fun never ends. What he didn't have was any actual advice on surfing. That's not how you do it. No, 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 That was no, a bad no, one. No, no. Fortunately, I had a sweet surfing montage. Yeah. Unfortunately, Gary's montage wasn't so hot. Uh... Here he goes, here he goes, go. Here we fly, here we fly. He hasn't come up yet. Here we fly. He hasn't come up. Here we fly. He's still in the water. It's time to go. Thankfully, Gary lived to authorise his credit card for this very expensive sports car. You know the words. Sing along. Turns out Gaza didn't know the words. I knew that bit, and I knew where we were going, to the... <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> tell, you, tell you what, we felt so bad bursting into those yeah. furniture stores, we ended up buying a uh, bed and two leather lounge suites just to say right. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> big, big save Lily at one stage has us trapped under a couple of mattresses. Yeah. We she's, couldn't get out until we bought something. And she's weirdly calm about everything now, Big Safe Lily. I don't know if you've seen the ads. It's quite it's odd. quite unnerving. <laughs> quite unnerving. Uh, now, tonight we have got yeah. something special planned uh, with the one and only Stan Walker. He's going to be performing his new single live. Yeah, damn. Woo! Uh, stop, no, no. Stop your applause. Because he's not going to be performing for you, OK? It's too cushy in this studio. What we want is Stan Walker to come to your house right now. Yeah. Not your no, house, no, not your house. house. Someone, oh, yeah. someone watching on the telly. Stan Walker could be in your living room before the end of the show performing his brand new yeah. single. If you want him live in your living room, just uh, head to our Facebook page right now. Um, do I get, like, any kind of say? <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, we already organised this, but it's probably for the best because you were sounding a bit like pitchy before the show started. He's pitchy. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Here's your ride. Come on, I'll take you. <laughs> Bye. All right, we'll see you. Uh, this is 
legit. If you want Stan yeah. Walker in your lounge, head to our Facebook page, but do it quickly because we're going to select someone in the next five minutes. I think that might be the last we see you, Stan <laughs> Do that and we'll see you after the break. See you soon. You can Google the lyrics, like, and just give, give Spanish a go, you know. Don't be racist. Thank you, Laura Daniel. Welcome hey. back to Jono and Ben. We've actually just sent Stan Walker to somebody's house. He could be showing up at yours before the end of the show to perform. Yeah. That'd yeah. be scary if you're not expecting him, eh? You're just sitting there just watching TV1 and all of a sudden Stan Walker shows up. <laughs> well, he's going to a house that's registered, mate. He's not just showing up to a random house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's like the Nappy Sand commercial, guys. Out music. Hey, uh, one person who doesn't want to be going home anytime soon is former cricketer Scott Styrus, who forgot his wedding anniversary. But even worse, he was... Happy wedding anniversary to my wonderful husband. Oh, and thank you for remembering our special day. Oh, that's right. You didn't. Wow. You could have told me that was coming. I didn't know that was coming. Well, you wake up in the morning, it's your wedding anniversary, you think flowers, breakfast in bed, you know, things like that, and nothing. I don't want to get in the middle of a domestic nothing. experience. I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> about to cross the back live to Stan Walker who's showing up at a viewer's house. Her name is Michelle. She's going to have him play live. Yeah, well, let's hope it goes better than the time we broke into a house with Dave Dobbin and got him to sing Welcome Home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he didn't quite, he never got over that, Dobbin, did he? Cost hey. us a lot in bail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Stan Walker isn't the only star on the show. Um, my dad, Gary, has become on Twitter mildly popular. Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people saying that he's more talented than me, he is. which is a very low bar, to say the least. <laughs> so I've gotten involved in my new job as becoming a travel vlogger. Let's check it out. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, it's Guy Williams here, a TV personality, radio host. Some of you might know me from a food vlog, and today I'm a travel blogger. And I'm Gary, I'm unemployed. You're retired. We're going on a farm sun adventure to the Gold Coast. And we're going to get amongst it. Just a three hour flight from Auckland. Or 25 hours by boat. No one's travelling by boat, Gary. Oh. The Gold Coast is known for its gold. Coast. And I want to meet a talking koala. What? We're going to get amongst it. Please stop saying that. First up, surfing. Why are we doing surfing? Surfing's always been my favourite thing. I thought your favourite thing was going to the track and gambling on the horses. So it was off to meet Australian surf legend and Kelly Slater's coach, Shane Horan, to get some words of wisdom. We're here, it's like 25 degree weather, and you're wearing a hoodie. It says, have a good surf. It's a little bit warm, but... They've got a yellow shirt that also says, have a good surf. Yeah, and then I take it off, and then I've got a tattoo that says, have a good surf. <laughs> Shane had the best attitude of any surf coach I'd ever met. Going surfing with friends seems like the fun never ends. What he didn't have was any actual advice on surfing. That's not how you do it. No, 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 That was no, a bad no, one. No, no. Fortunately, I had a sweet surfing montage. Yeah. Unfortunately, Gary's montage wasn't so hot. He's, uh... Here he goes, here he goes, go. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. He hasn't come up yet. He'll be fine. He hasn't come up. He'll be fine. He's still in the water. It's time to go. Thankfully, Gary lived to authorise his credit card for this very expensive sports car. You know the words. Sing along. Turns out Gaza didn't know the words. I knew that bit, and I knew where we were going, to the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary. Nice segue, Gary. Thanks. It came free with the tour. Get amongst it. Get amongst it. If you've been in here long enough, you actually quite develop a taste for grass. Quite good. You can taste the kangaroo shit. There we go. She's going to the car. We're boning. 
Here we go. Hi guys, how are you? Hey guys, how's it going? Oh no, no. Give us a hand. No. Just trying to film like a um, like Shorten Street. Okay. Uh, <laughs> very easily, very easily persuaded <laughs> from the lady who just said get really out of here. And action. Please tell me that is not your penis. <laughs> And action! So, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Who the hell's this guy? It's... What's your name? Kale. It's Kale. And? We're together now. <laughs> Music. Tell you, tell you what, we felt so bad bursting into those yeah. furniture stores, we ended up buying a uh, bed and two leather lounge suites just to say right. sorry. Yeah, big, big save Lily at one stage has us trapped under a couple of mattresses. Yeah. We she's, couldn't get out until we bought something. And she's weirdly calm about everything now, Big Safe Lily. I don't know if you've seen the ads. It's quite odd. It's quite unnerving. <laughs> quite unnerving. <laughs> uh, now, tonight we have got yeah. something special planned uh, with the one and only Stan Walker. He's going to be performing his new single, Life. Yeah, damn. Woo! Uh, stop, no, no. Stop your applause. Because he's not going to be performing for you, OK? It's too cushy in this studio. What we want is Stan Walker to come to your house right now. <laughs> not your no, house, not, not your house. house. Someone, oh, yeah. someone watching on the telly. Stan Walker could be in your living room before the end of the show performing his brand new yeah. single. If you want him live in your living room, just uh, head to our Facebook page right now. Um, do I get, like, any kind of say? <laughs> <laughs> No, sorry, we already organised this, but it's probably for the best because you were sounding a bit like pitchy before the show started. He's pitchy. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Here's your ride. Come on, I'll take you. <laughs> Bye. All right, we'll see you uh, This is legit. If you want Stan Walker yeah. in your lounge, head to our Facebook page, but do it quickly because we're going to select someone in the next five minutes. I think that might be the last we see you, Stan. <laughs> do that, and we'll see you after the break. See you soon. Bye. Bye.